My name is Brand J. Jackson, and I'm a singer, songwriter, entertainer uh, from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm about love. I mean, really. That's. I'm about spreading good energy in the world. I feel like that's my purpose. Uh, I've been performing on stage since I was six years old. And uh, in this avenue, in the way that I perform now with a live band and doing some traveling and playing um, venues and opening up, that, that's been about 12 years now. But I grew up playing in church for sure. And I was on a television show, I should mention that. It's called The Company Party. And it was dance, drama, and acting. And it was kind of like a local version of the Mickey Mouse Club, I guess you would say. Dance, drama, singing, entertainment, being on stage, it's, it's really in my blood. Both parents are, um, have some people in my family. My grandparents were performers. My grandfather was into jazz. He liked Ella Fitzgerald, which is one of my favorites. Her voice is so smooth. And uh, yeah, he, he tap danced. This is on my mother's side. My grandfather on my father's side. Um, we're from Detroit, I should say that, so Motown was really big. Uh, yeah, he, he sang a little bit with Smokey Robinson before the miracles were a thing. Finding who I am as an entertainer and learning that, I'd have to say, it's Charlie Red. Charlie Red is an amazing musician, artist, human being. Um, he pretty much showed me the ropes, how to hold a crowd's attention, how to book a gig, how to be free and open on stage, how to find who I am in that moment. When I'm on stage and it's a moment where we're live and the band is locked, where our energy's together, we're flowing together, and that flow and that energy like hits the crowd. And when the crowd is on the same accord and we're on that same wavelength of energy, just feeling that back, it's like, it's the best high ever. I feel a connection to Tulsa for sure. I feel that though my roots are in Tulsa, it's like I'm establishing new roots, like they've spread here and I have family here and friends that have become family and a great support system here through the entertainment and the businesses here. I love the local feel. I love the, you have a country feel and you have a big city feel, you know. We have traffic, but it's not too bad. You can get somewhere in 15, 20 minutes, one side to the other. Um, it has everything that a big city has. I've lived in Atlanta for a while and pursued music there, made some great connections there um, that sent me to Europe, actually. And um, there are a lot of things I loved about Atlanta, and it was a great experience, but I didn't feel that home. This is just home. I feel like it's the pockets of freedom in Tulsa. It's like people would have this expectation of what it's like here. And I find a lot of people that visit Tulsa are, are politely, you know, they're really su surprised by that. You know, it's like they don't know that there's reggae bands and funk bands and hip hop groups and punk bands and neo soul and afro beat and just so many different genres here and people that support music here. It's the pockets of freedom, people that are outspoken and they say what they believe and they're willing to try different things and they're daring and they're the first to try something. You know, it's like opening up businesses here in Tulsa is a big thing for young entrepreneurs. Um, and in Tulsa, I feel a reoccurrence of people who are visiting shows and they're supporting. And that is an, it, it inspiring. And when people are supporting, then you get paid when you play shows. It's difficult going other places, like when I lived in Atlanta or when you live in LA or you live different places. A lot of those bands, a lot of artists are putting up money to play shows. You gotta come. There's the, there's the only way to tell. You have to come here to be a part of it, to see it. That's good? Yeah, you're fantastic. That was good? Yeah. I felt like I'd do some wrong words because I'm a little stoned a little bit. <laughs> so when I, I said some know. things, I think you got enough, but I think where I was like, and I said it and I just kept talking, I was like, that word doesn't go there. <laughs>